that being that being said, um, I'm gonna end it with a few. So. <laughs> so, first, I'm going to read a little bit from the author I'm currently going into, Mr. Kevin Young. And. Start with the sun, piled weeks deep on your back after you haven't heard rain for an entire growing season, and making sure to face due north, spit twice into the red clay, stomp your silent feet, waiting rain, rain to bring the washing in, rain of reaping rusty tubs of rain. Wish aloud to be caught in the throat of the dry well, head kissing your back, a bent spoon for groundwater to be sipped from. Slow courting rain, rain that falls wherever, rain which keeps folks inside and makes late afternoon babies. Begins to bury childhood clothes, wrap them around stones and skulls of doves, then mark each place well enough to stand the coming storm. Rain of our fathers, shoeless rain, the devil that's beating his wife, rain, rain learned early in the bones. Plant these scarecrow people face down, wing, wing, and bony anchor, then wait until they grow roots and skeletons. Sudden soaking rain that draws out the nightcrawler, rain of beginning, rain that asks for more rain, rain that can't help but answer. What you are looking for must fall, what you are looking for is deep among clouds. What you want to see is a girl selling kisses beneath cottonwood, is a boy drowning inside of the earth. Thank you. Yeah. So, like Weasel, I also have a few books available, uh, a few copies, two of them. Uh, my most recent book called Cosmos and the Horned Ones, which is kind of like a non-linear <laughs> narrative, published by Weasel Press, and The Wandering Poet, which is an early collection of potpourri pieces. So I'm just going to read a couple here. May I already want to? Do what now? May I already want to? Oh, certainly. Sure. Okay. Um. I fought against that storm. I was way over there in Houston when I called you on it. Man, but that storm, but it is not. That's right. That's right. Um. Um, Alright, so this is one of the four pieces that I've sort of turned into songs. And sort of keeping up with the blues theme, this is just called Cosmish Lady Blues and sort of dedicated to the main character. <clears throat> Twice seen with the art of the macabre, once in her sacred den. Twice seen with the art of the macabre, once in her sacred den. Although the heart has been robbed, the light of the self speaks through Zen. She has the hair of midnight and one astrology in her eyes. Her mind tells the tales of lore. There is too much reality to fantasize. She has the voice of long-awaited reason, part of white gold immaculate. Her manifestations make the planet revolve. The true love has won the gambling bet. Insignificant ram, limping with the case of the cosmic blues. English wolfen beat him to confession, primordial news. His tears of defeat are how he paid his dues. Best give the rest to distant brother lamb. He covers his ears to evade the howling. She turns to look, but only sees an ally. Could there be a Styx River drop of a chance? 
The words have been hibernating. Awaken them from a slumber in vain. Confess before the earth child and take your stance. Those blessed cosmish lady blues, those damned cosmish lady blues. The condition is the cosmish lady blues. Lift the spirits high. They call it the cosmish lady blues and it will lift the spirits high. After a time of feeling low, why not dip our astral bodies into the purest skies? Biology of beauty, a revered appearance like no other. To meditate with her would be a privilege, a giver, a polyglot, a dream in color, a lover. Thinking straight is no longer an option, for her centralized image is breathtaking. Photographers weep and citizens bow. The gestures of selflessness, the unthinkable in peacemaking. English wolfen imprinted on her first, leaving the disoriented ram an outcast among sheep. They bleat and scream, but they feel the urge to weep. Why think about defeat when seductive fingers lead to sleep? Counting the fence, jumping siblings, better than quenching an empty thirst. She has never parted the sea without thinking of, her, of the wildlife first. So many faces look up to her to complete the task. He's never been afraid of the truth until now. Why compare one's self to destiny? So why wear a ram's skin and wolf's mask? Those blessed cosmish lady blues, those damned cosmish lady blues, can we belong and exist as one? Mm. That was me. And um, last one. Thank you. What was the name of that one? Cosmish Lady Blues. And then uh, last but not least, I have a draft. Tuesday after, there will be a, an open mic at the Barnes & Noble, uh, right near Baybrook. If you want to keep up to date with the exact information, have cards, so if you've seen it. Um, when it came in, maybe she wants to read. Do you want to read? Oh, no. Oh, okay. It was me. I want to oh, take one out of his black book. Are you sure? Do we have time for one more people? I didn't yeah. know this was going on, so I'm not even... Oh, no, that's better. <laughs> you want to read one out of his book? 45 and... Uh, He's got a book of them. You want to read one for us? Okay. 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 I'm preparing them all. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> no that's one is right. ever really prepared. Sometimes you got to go up there because I was like, that. just do it. Okay, okay, I'll be. Just do it and help. <laughs> so, so we have that. Um, Dustin, you have a book you want to plug really quick? Yeah, my novella. Um, it's a kind of a horror suspense novella, and it's called Be Not Afraid of What You May Find. And it's uh, it's available now from Alien Buddha Press. It's on Amazon, so that's uh, that's out. And I have one coming out from a local publisher called Sudden to New May Publishing. Uh, pretty soon, it's not prepared yet, but it will be. And it's called uh, Grace Soliloquy, and that's poetry. And it will be uh, interesting to see what happens. There's promotional materials and stuff. You know, an interview about the book on Sudden to New May's uh, site, which is uh, probably not too hard to find. But uh, that's uh, coming out soon. That's awesome. Um, other than that, anybody have else have any arts, music, visual art related announcements? Anybody? 
We're going to try to do the art gallery slash variety show thing. I haven't scheduled it yet, but if it's not at this location, it may be at the other location in Kima. We'll try. We'll see what we can find. Oh, yeah, yeah. next Monday? Next Monday? The, the, what's your, my team? Yes, in Pasadena Public Library on Fairmont, where me and Zach are doing a lecture uh, concerning uh, poetry, publishing, all of its assorted stuff related to our journal and press. So come on out if you want to do that. Fairmount, uh, I guess, the street. Other than that, cannot stress this enough now, please get home safe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got wheels. I'm about to go all the way down. Thank you all so Thank much you. for coming. Thank you. Thank you, sir.